in fact, we do have two cameras, so I want to add another one and um, maybe search for 500 to see if we can find the CRN 500. Yes, it's also on the network, so I'll select this one and as you can see, it pops up on my camera selector. So I'll now use the joystick to move the camera around. These cameras are amazing in their zoom, pan and tilt capabilities. If you press the top of the joystick, you basically get to your home screen and on your controller. And on the home screen, you uh, find information which is uh, selected by us. So this is a curated configuration. A while ago, we launched the Blue Pill platform. And this is designed to give you modularity, more power and more device control to your Unisketch Skyhoy controllers. At the same time, we also introduced the RCP Pro and that was basically Blue Pill moving into a controller. So you had a single device with all this amazing power in itself. Today, we launched Blue Pill Inside as an option for your PDC Pro and your PDC Extreme. Blue pill inside your PDC controller, like PDC Pro here, means that you get the easiest and quickest configuration experience of your PDC controller and your cameras you have ever experienced in a Skyhoy product. We are really, really excited about that. I'll show you later how we can discover these cameras and easily add them in. You can even mix models, mix brands, no fuss at all. We have unlimited cameras in these controllers and we control all the specific settings of each of the models we have implemented. We are really proud about that. This is like, like core Skyhoy values that we give you native experiences in controlling the devices you own. In addition to this, you can also choose between many different form factors. We are focusing on the PDC Pro today, which is a very, very popular PDC controller. It's even the, the version 2, brand new, with uh, nine buttons here on the bottom row and some other optimizations. But PDC Extreme here is another form factor for people who need more direct access to features. And we even have a smaller PDC controller, PDC Fly, which is a form factor for those with less needs. So this is what you can expect from Skahoy, different form factors to fit your exact needs. And with these controllers, you get the tactile control, which is so important with PDC cameras. Obviously, you need to look at the screen, right? You're producing visual content. So you need to have your fingers available to guide you around. This is what is the essence of Skahoy tactile experience, that you, you can control it with your fingertips, right? And on these controllers, in terms of features, the parameters of the cameras, basically all of them are integrated. We also have direct recall and store of preset positions of these cameras on these controllers. And as a last benefit, these controllers are also aware of your switcher system. So you can have the camera selector row light up red and green depending on the status of the individual inputs. That's an advanced feature and we won't cover it in details in this video, but I just want you to mention that this integrative aspect of our products is always around and away you can go. Let's move on to demonstrating the PDC Pro. Like you see right here, it will welcome you with information about the IP address you should go to if you want to configure it. And on the laptop here next to me, I have the uh, Reactor system, which is the internal software running in the PDC Pro on the blue pill. It's right here, and this is what it looks like. The home welcoming screen will tell you that you have a PDC Pro V2, and uh, we can even light it up just to check that this is the panel that we're actually operating on. Why would you do that? Well, because Sometimes you might have multiple of these tabs open. You might also have multiple panels connected in modularity context. Not for today, but right now we can confirm we have PDC Pro V2 set up right here. We are actually running a configuration that is our welcome screen. So what I want to do is to change over to PDC Pro V2 generic. Next thing I do is I press the add button to find a camera. I'm now searching my network for cameras that are available to me. You see that a lot of uh, broadcast devices are popping up here. And right here, we find the CRN300. So I will now select this one. And you see immediately the controller lights up and shows me that I have a CRN300 selected as my first camera. 
in fact, we do have two cameras, so I want to add another one and um, maybe search for 500 to see if we can find the CRN 500. Yes, it's also on the network, so I'll select this one and as you can see, it pops up on my camera selector. This is how easy it is. Search for your camera, pick it in a list, and it will pop right into your controller. Imagine doing that for 30 cameras. It's just that easy. Now, let's see if this actually works. So I'll now use the joystick to move the camera around. These cameras are amazing in the zoom, pan, and tilt capabilities. So that's, um, that's one wonderful thing to experience about the Canon cameras if you don't know them already. Um, but as you can see with the camera selector, I can also take the CIN300, the small camera here, and move this around. You see that it's moving as I'm pulling the joystick, but we don't have output for this, so you can't see the image. Now, let's explore the CIN500 a little bit. So, an introduction to the PVC Pro would be to say here, you have your camera selector, and you can even see a camera paging button here. If you had 30 cameras, you would push this button multiple times to page to your cameras, what would that be, like 8, 9, 10, and so forth. And up here, you have preset recalls. Presets, as I said, tactile recall of presets and even store. So if I press button number one here, you'll see the CIN500 goes into this position. And if I press this button, we have another position coming up. Now, this is probably like, yeah, we have seen that a lot of times. I own PTC cameras. I know what you're talking about. So that's all good and great. I want to show you how easy you can actually, um, if I just navigate down here, store a preset. So on preset number five, I just press and hold this key. It lights up green. It's now stored. So if I go to three, uh, preset three and preset five, I go forth and back between these. Now, a little inside secret is on this configuration, we have implemented a highly requested feature for people who want to use labels for their presets. And that is if you press and hold this button, it will flip around the camera selector and the preset selector. And now you see labels like preset one, two, three, four, and five, and seven, and six. These labels can be customized so that they actually show names. And on some of our controllers, not this one, you can even show thumbnails. Uh, so watch out for that. There's a lot of great content on use of images coming up on your blue pill inside controllers. Now I'll just flip this back again. So this is really your preference. You just press and hold to do that operation. Joystick, camera selection, and if you press the top of the joystick, you basically get to your home screen and on your controller. And on the home screen, you uh, find information which is uh, selected by us. So this is a curated configuration. And we have decided to give you access to the shooting mode, to joystick sensitivity, to um, uh, MF speed here and focus mode. So these are available to you as the assumed most important things. But it is actually possible to tweak this. So even though we are talking about easy, easy, and we give you amazing configurations out of the box, it is also possible in Blue Pill to go beyond that. But it's not the scope of this video. And um, we'll go through what this curated configuration is about. So the menu here will guide us around. And if we go to the exposure menu, we have auto iris. Um, then if I go to manual, um, like here, then we have iris, uh, iris uh, f-stop. We can adjust this. So you see that I have influence on the light intake of the camera. We'll just um, demonstrate that. I can adjust the gain. So we'll just change the gain here a little bit to demonstrate that. Let's move on to the white balance because I think we have some work to do on the white balance here. And now I'll just pull a little bit away from the drone and let's um, maybe look over here. Yep. And then um, we can adjust the Kelvin degrees quite um, precisely with this knob. So you can see how we are able to change the white balance, but it's also possible to go into a preset mode where the white balance uh, options we have is like tungsten here, daylight white balance, and so on. Red and uh, red gain and blue gain would be offsets from this. So if I turn the red gain, you see that I, I manually add red gain to my um, preset white balance setting. So these are all features specifically in these cameras. As I mentioned, we have gone through a lot to make sure that Canon specific features are brought out on this controller for a very, very native and awesome experience. Moving on to color, we have sharpness level, black gamma level, black gamma point, and black gamma range. Over here, we have focus mode, face detect, which is a Canon feature. Uh, I think face uh, catch face only. 
and off. So you can imagine how these are different modes for the auto um, focus engine in the Canon camera to orient itself towards human faces. Uh, but you probably know that if you own these cameras, but this is specific features for these cameras, obviously. Now, if we take the focus mode over to manual and then zoom in a little bit, like here, then um, we are able to adjust the focus of the camera using this knob. So you can see now we're a little bit out of focus, but I'm actually able to fine tune the focus of this pretty well. So now we're getting closer to the focus on the front or the frunk of the Tesla here, like that. Uh, or I can go back to auto. And sometimes that's, that's usual, uh, useful to be able to manually adjust the focus, obviously, although they have amazing autofocus, these cameras. Moving on here to um, user bank one, two, and, and three. We have here our home screen with the shooting modes and so on. Then we have shutter speed, gain mode, manual, clear, and ND filters. Actually, this has motorized ND filters. So now you can see that we are going through these, basically having a black image now. So this is not for indoor use so much. Um, and back there once again, and a few other things here. Joystick sensitivity is basically how sensitive is the joystick. So let me show you if we just zoom out here. And then if I reduce the sensitivity and now I give it full swing on zooming in, you can see it's like really slow. And then I give it like middle, so it's a little bit quicker. And then I give it full speed and now I have full speed. So joystick sensitivity is the controller's way of moderating the joystick for you. Before we end this video, I wanna show you how PTC Pro is not the only controller with blue pill inside today. The PTC Extreme has it as well. And it's the same process, easy, easy. This is the IP address, this is the interface. I see the boot screen configuration is selected, but I will change that over to PTC Extreme Generic. Generic means that this catches all. So what we see now is instantly configuration. I press the add button. I search for a camera on the network like CRN300. I add it and I can add another one. Let's search for 500. I add it. I could now add another one and you see how we could keep going like this and these will pop up down here on the camera selector row on the controller. So that's uh, how the PDC Extreme works. Up here we have presets that we can recall. Up here we have a selector, a menu that navigates the different options on these screens for the cameras and so on. So it's basically all the features you have on the PDC Pro but brought out on multiple buttons, which is for different user group, but it's running on the same software. It's the same concept. It's the same ease of use in the software. You may wonder if we only control Canon cameras as we demonstrate today. And actually that's not the case. Whatever camera you brought from your reseller, we probably have a trophy that documents how that camera brand model and so forth works with our PVC controller. So I suggest you ask your resellers for trophies that demonstrates and describes how integration with your broadcast hardware is done. So look at these examples. They are not PC related, but like video router control. We have ARIA mirror control in live production with our RCPs. We have Canon CIN series PDC control. We have shading red Komodo with RCP Pro and so on. We have so many of these trophies we can offer you for download. You can pick them up at trade shows. You can get them at your reseller where you can get your Skahoy gear and all your great PDC cameras in this case. So these trophies are very clear and descriptive promises to you about which combinations are fine-tuned to work with the ease of use you've seen in this video.